Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video episode on the Forgotten Weapons Library. I'm Ian, and I recently got an email from a fellow who was looking to pick up a Vickers gun, and uh, this may have had something to do with the upcoming Cohen's auction that we just blogged about, uh, where they have several of them available. And uh, he was asking me if there are any good books out there on the Vickers. Well, as it turns out, there is. There is, in fact, one. It is The Grand Old Lady of No Man's Land by Dolph Goldsmith, and it is really the Bible of the Vickers gun. Um, covers pretty much everything that you need to know about the gun. Uh, production from literally every country that bought the Vickers. Uh, maintenance, uh, troubleshooting, accessories, different cartridges, history of the gun through both world wars, everything. Uh, really a fantastic book. Uh, in fact, let's take a quick look inside and you can see some of the content. So there are some other books available on the Vickers. They're much shorter, they're much less informative. This really is the go-to book on the gun. Uh, we'll take a look inside here. We start off with some history of the guns. Obviously the Vickers is an evolution of the Maxim gun. So there's some discussion of, of that and how the partnership between the two companies came about. Um, we have early production here. World War I guns. Uh, there's a, a really nice discussion of indirect fire, uh, namely firing the gun upward at an angle where you're not pointing it directly at the target and using it basically like artillery. This was something that the, the British Army really became experts at during World War I, uh, and the Vickers was the gun for it. So there's a lot of discussion of how that's done, and really interesting stuff for anyone who has a Vickers. Uh, this does cover all the different countries that use the Vickers, so the U.S., Canada, uh, New Zealand, England, and then a wide variety of sm countries that ordered guns in smaller numbers. Uh, it also covers all the commercial versions of the Vickers, including things like um, armored fighting vehicle guns equipped with pistol grips instead of spade grips. Uh, we mentioned the Cohen's auction earlier. Here is, in fact, some discussion of the, the Class CT gun, which they have an example of for sale. Very rare gun. Something like a dozen of them were made. Moving on, um, we also cover some of the, the large caliber Vickers guns, the 50 caliber Vickers and, and bigger. So, you know, you know, information on those is just not available anywhere else. Uh, this is just a section out of the foreign usage of the Vickers, in this case, Turkey. Um, Turkey did a lot to mount uh, German Maxim accessories on their Vickers guns, which makes for a, a pretty interesting hybrid gun. Uh, towards the back, moving on, we have sections on spare parts, uh, transit chests, disassembly tools, uh, there's a big section on belts, everything you can imagine really. And then back here we have troubleshooting handbook, so if you actually have one of the guns and shooting it, you need to know how to deal with uh, malfunctions or issues that may occur. So excellent section here on actually running and maintaining a Vickers gun. So there you go. You really have everything, everything you need on the Vickers gun in this one volume. Fantastic book for collectors. There is unfortunately a very serious downside to the book. That is, it was printed in 1994, and it is long out of print. Uh, in fact, it's not just out of print, it's pretty much out of stock everywhere. If you go to, if you actually find copies available on Amazon or Ape Books or the other secondhand uh, internet sellers, they're usually at least three to four hundred dollars. Um, I looked just prior to doing this video, and the cheapest I could find was just under 500, which is insane. Um, and it might even be worth that if you are buying yourself a Vickers gun, because it really is that valuable of a book, and there's nothing else out there like it. But it's way out of the price range of folks who are just interested in the gun. So what I would say is definitely keep a look for this book at gun shows. You've got the nice silhouette of the Vickers gun around the cover. Uh, and if you ever find it for a reasonable price, I mean, if you find it for less than 200 bucks, buy it because even if it's not something you're interested in, you, you can resell it to someone who's been looking for it for a price like that. So, um, unfortunately, it doesn't appear that they're ever going to reprint this. There just isn't enough demand, uh, which is just a shame for the folks out there who 
would like to have it and haven't been able to find a copy. So if you ever find a good source for one, by all means, let us know. We'd love to publicize it and help get these out to some people who need them. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you can find a copy of The Grand Old Lady of No Man's Land.